Here are some of the new features and improvements in Vadin 12. On the Java side, we have a new material theme, an implementation of the Google's material design specifications. App layout is a component you can use as the main layout of your applications. You can use it with your router views to show a content area and a responsive navigation bar. There's a new checkbox group component that simplifies working with values produced by multiple checkboxes. The new context menu component has a server-side Java API. This component allows you to show menus in any Vadin component. The same happened to Tree Grid, which was available as a web component earlier. Now it's also available for Java users as a server-side component. Vadin 12 includes the PWA annotation to make your app a progressive web application. Vadin automatically serves a web manifest, a service worker, icons, an offline page, and a prompt to install the app on the home screen. There was already support for Spring in previous versions of Vadin Flow, and now there is official support for CDI as well, so you can start using the inject annotation in your Vadin components. There are several improvements in Vadin 12. For example, the combo box component can lazily show data. The grid component supports inline editing with buffered and non-buffered versions. And there is a Java API for choosing alternative component styles from the Lumo and Material themes. With Vadin 12, Pro and Prime subscribers get a new component called Vadin CRUD. It gives a consistent user experience for create, read, update, and delete operations and many out-of-the-box features. For client-side developers, Vadin 12 includes a new time picker component, easier configuration of grid columns, and content renderer functions that make Polymer syntax data binding optional. You can find more detailed information about Vadin 12 at vadin.com.